and become the first fruit of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But some men will say, How are the dead risen up? And with what body do they come? All flesh is not the same flesh. Also, in the resurrection of the dead, it is shown in incorruption. It is raised in corruption. It is shown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is shown a natural body and is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. The first man is the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven, as is the earthly, such as they also are that are earthly. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. Now, this I say, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither do corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, as the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the death shall be risen incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go ahead and move on with this homegoing celebration for our beloved Linda Faith Thomas. This time we'll go along with the program that calls for scripture. We're we'll reading to you in the book of Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still water. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his sake. Yo, that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff, thou comfort me. Thou preparest a table for me in the presence of thine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We'll also read from the New Testament. Book of John chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go ye know, and the way you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh in the Father but by me. Lord, bless the hearer, reader, obeyer, and doer of his word. Amen. Amen. This time, we're going to move forward with prayer. Dear Lord, we want to thank you first for being God all by yourself. Thank you for your precious gift, your son Jesus. Thank you for the price that was paid on Calvary. We give thanks for the life of the one who has been taken from us today, Linda Faye Thomas. For what she meant to the loving family and friends that are here today. 
We give thanks for the love of God and for the salvation that is freely offered to us by Jesus Christ. Bless us all. We pray in the name of the one who gives this prayer to his disciples. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us. Amen. 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 First, give an honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All the ministers and pastors that are here today. Thank God for you. To our friends and family yes. that are here today in body and in spirit. Yes, sir. To the beloved brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. grandchildren, mm -hmm. children, Kendrick Johnson and daughter, Latoria Jones, yes. of our beloved Linda Faye Thomas. Oh, yeah. I want you to know that this is a home going. Yes, sir. A celebration. Yes, sir. For those who have accepted Jesus as head of their life. Thank you, Lord. A born again Christian, mm -hmm. Linda Faith Thomas was, that have been given testimony here today. Yes. When we were kids, I want you to know that the Thomases and the Celebrants, <coughs> the family was close, close, Talk, close. Talk, we was a close clan. Mm -hmm. I can remember in the summertime. My mother, Margie Middlebrooks Wilburn Sullivan, would drop me off at my Uncle Tom's and my Aunt Perlene's <laughs> to play. Talk Sometimes she dropped me off on a Wednesday mm -hmm. and picked me up on what felt like the following Tuesday. All right. And if you don't know, that's six days. <laughs> Amen. Pretty much all of the family hung out over Aunt Perlene's or over Mother's house. We were a close, close family. Closer than close. Now, back in those days, we didn't have video games or computers like the kids had today. So you had to be very creative. About the closest thing we had to a go-kart or a bike, I'm serious now, <coughs> was a broomstick, a nail, an old wheel that came off of some broken tire, and that was tire, and that was a junkyard right down the street. If we could find a wheel, Talk, we'd get it out that junkyard, and y'all know I'm telling the truth, those of us, us that were there. And we would take that broomstick and wheel, nailing it together, We'd push it down the street and be yelling, this is my car, this is my car. <laughs> you had to be creative. We didn't have much. Talk, talk. We didn't have much. But we had each other. Yes. <clears throat> now, Aunt Perlene had what felt like to me at the time, you got to remember I was a kid, 20 kids in that house. <laughs> and it would be about... 10 or 15 cousins visiting on any given day. This was the normal thing over there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to learn again how to get by. Mm -hmm. That's when I learned one of my life's greatest experiences. It even helped me now today a few times. I learned about mayonnaise sandwiches. Any of y'all know about That's that? It. That's it. Learned about sandwich spread sandwiches. Any of y'all know about them? Hmm. So one day, Linda Faye had an idea. She wanted to outdo everybody else. She took a slice of bread and some sugar. Two pieces, two, two tablespoons of that government butter. I know you young folks will learn about that put it all together, placed it in the bottom of the oven. And man, I want you to know, 
That government butter didn't melt like normal butter. <laughs> Before the butter would melt, that sugar started to get brown and burn a little bit. We all was laughing at her because we told her she'd messed up. She said, y'all don't know what y'all missing. <laughs> now, you got to remember, there's about 20 of us in this kitchen now. <laughs> By the time she got it out the oven, we all broke off a piece and ate a piece of it. I tell you, it was the best thing I ever had in my life. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> that day, I started calling her sweet brown sugar. <laughs> Now that, that's, that's my story. Yeah. Now you know I'm a Sullivan, so if you ask anybody else out there, they're going to have a completely different story, but that's my story, and I can tell it the way I want to tell it. Amen. Amen. We're going to be obedient and get into the Word today. We will have a new body. Yes, sir. We're going to be speaking today from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Primary dealing with verses 35 through 58. The question in verse 35 is in the mind of everyone at some point in time. It is, but someone would say, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Speaks We're going to explain that today. These people had denied the resurrection of the body for a few reasons. Thus a philosophy taught them that the body was evil, only the spirit was good. Therefore they didn't want a body in eternity. They considered such a resurrection impossible. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Impossible. Yeah. How can we admit God exists and then limit his power? That's if it, you sir. say you're a believer. That's it. I'm going to make it plain. Good, sir. Acts 26, 9 through 10 makes it plain to us. Indeed, this is Paul. Indeed, myself, though I must do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. All right. This I also did in Jerusalem. Yeah. And many of the saints I shut up in prison, mm -hmm. having received authority from the chief priests. And when they were put to death, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cast my vote against them. Now those yeah. of us who know the word know that Saul was at the stoning of Stephen. He was there. He was right there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I cast my vote against him. He didn't throw a stone, but he planted the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yes, he did. And I pushed them forward, pushed them often in every son of God and compelled them to blasphemy. Mm -hmm. And being exceedingly enraged against them, yeah. I persecuted them mm -hmm. even to foreign cities. He yes, chased sir. Christians from yes, one sir. city to the other. <laughs> We don't stop there. Paul recounts his conversion yeah. on further down in Acts, verses 12 through 18. Mm -hmm. Well, this occupied. As I journeyed to the road of Damascus mm -hmm. with the authority and commission from the chief priests. And I want yeah. you to know Take these were Jews. These yeah. were Romans. That's right. God's own people. Mm -hmm. At midnight, O oh king, along the road I saw a light from heaven brighter than the sun mm -hmm. shining around me and those who journeyed with me and when we were all had fallen to the ground, yes, sir. I heard a voice speaking to me saying in the Hebrew language, mm -hmm. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's hard for me to kick against the goat. Mm -hmm. So I said, who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus. Mm -hmm. I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Mm -hmm. But rise and stand on your feet. Yes, sir. 
but I have appeared to you for this purpose, mm -hmm. to make you a minister and a witness both to the things which you have seen mm -hmm. and of the things which will yet reveal to you. That's it. I will deliver you from the Jewish people mm -hmm. as well as from the Gentiles to whom I now send you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. To open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light. Oh, yeah. And from the power of Satan to God. Mm -hmm. That they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. That's right. That's right. Hmm. That That's chance. resurrection, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Physically, he, he was one who was persecuting, chasing Christians. Hey. But the very next day, God touched him while he was yet in the sin. Hey, thank you. He was washed clean, made whole, and was of the Spirit. Amen. Hmm. I tell you this for one reason. Me and Linda had several conversations. Bless the Lord. And one of the things I run into and she ran into when, when you had a past, I heard you talk about that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People see me now today, and all they see is Wonder Mike. That was 28 <laughs> years ago. I had a Jerry Curl back then. Yeah, Stacy out of shoes. Talk, sir. Been serving God over 25 years, and all they see is Wonder Mike. I can still rap. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> so one time I called Linda Sweet Brown Sugar at a, at a church function, and she called me to side later. Said, Mike, I, I'm really not comfortable with that in, anymore. Mm -hmm. And I want her to know God is using you. Yeah, if he can convert Saul to Paul. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. He can convert you from sweet brown sugar to Sister Linda Faye Thomas. That's it, sir. That's it. That's it. People need to know about your past. Yeah. Don't, don't be ashamed of it. Just oh, don't, yeah. don't go back. Yes, sir. Go forward. Thank you, Lord. I also share it with my uncle. See, some of y'all don't know. Man, we used to tear that Ebony Club up. <laughs> Sweet Brown Sugar would do the early bird show. <laughs> the deadly Dr. D would tell them we don't need no music. You pretty bad, but you can get down and say we don't need no music. Reverend. About one o'clock, I'd hit the door and tell them Wonder might go on ways to the right. <laughs> if he can take Sweet Brown Sugar and turn her into Sister Linda Faye Thomas. My God. My God. He can take the deadly Dr. D and turn him into Brother Odell Sullivan. This is in the Sullivan family. Oh, sir. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. And he can take Wonder Mike uh -huh. and turn him into Reverend Mike. Yeah. Yeah. You can't deny God. Yeah. Let's give God a hand. I like that. The Corinthians also seem to ask if this resurrection is possible. What will the excuse me, resurrected body be like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul uses three illustrations in, to, to share this. Verses 36 and 38. Foolish one, mm. what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. Mm -hmm. And what you sow, you, don't, you do not sow that body that shall be, but mere grain. Perhaps, perhaps wheat of some other grain. But God gives it a body as he pleases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And to each seed his own. Yeah. He has a plan for each and every one of them. Yes, yes. The seed must die to grow into a plant. Preach, sir. The seed determines the plant's body. Mm -hmm. Our earthly body is the seed. As the plant is more than the seed, the resurrected body is greater than the earthly body. That's right. See, when you accept Jesus into your life, the Holy Spirit comes into you. Thank you, Lord. And then you're not just a physical body, mm -hmm. you have the Holy Spirit indwelling in hey, you. Glory, glory. So you have two bodies. Amen. Amen. We're going to make it plain. Verse 9 goes on to let us know that all flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of man, another flesh of animals, another flesh of fish, and another of birds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a difference 
in the flesh of man, animals, and birds. Mm -hmm. God creates everything into his own environment. Yes. He created Linda to be Linda. Yes. I love it when he said, yes, you should roll up them little funny cigarettes, and I should roll up you too. I wasn't good at rolling them, but I tried. I got a pass. All right. And a few of y'all tell the truth, y'all rolled a few too. Hey, watch out. Watch out. He knew about that. He know what you're doing. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're all different. Yes, sir. Our res resurrection body mm -hmm. fits our eternal state. Oh, yes. <laughs> Out of space. Verses 40 and 41 makes it plain. Mm -hmm. Verse 40 tells us there are also celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies. Mm -hmm. But the glory of the celestial is one. Mm -hmm. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. Verse 41 says, There is only one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars. One for one star differs from the other star in glory. That's right. We're going to explain that That's a little right. bit. The sun, the moon, and stars all have celestial glories. That's right. Let me explain that. The celestial body. Paul contrasts the celestial body as sun, moon, and stars. Well, the terrestrial body is explaining a difference. There's a difference. The celestial body, again, relates to the sun, the moon, the stars, or heavenly things. That's it, sir. Or we can look at that as our spiritual body. Mm -hmm. That Holy Spirit that indwells you once you accept Jesus into your life. Oh, yeah. That's the one we're concerned about. We want you to know that's different from the physical body, the one that Linda was using to twist with. All right, Chuck. That's it. That's it. That's the terrestrial body. It's the earthly side of us. Mm -hmm. Some of us like to act like we're perfect, but I want you to know we all were born in sin. Preach up. We have a sinful nature. Preach up. Because of that first Adam, we inherited sin. Mm -hmm. But because of that second Adam and the blood he shed, we are washed clean Thank you. in Jesus Christ. Thank you. So Thank we have two bodies. Thank you, God. Thank you. Did I make it plain? Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Paul uses five contracts, perishable and imperishable. See, the earthly body is perishable. We're going to leave here one day. Yes, sir. For sure. But the spiritual body is imperishable. It's, it's going to ascend into heaven. If you've heaved this word and you've been obedient, mm -hmm. that don't mean you didn't make no mistakes. It means you believed in him and you trusted him and yeah. you know he died and you know he rose and you know he's coming back. This yes, is what sir. Cousin Mabel was talking about. Mama. Disorder and glory. Mm -hmm. That earthly body. Jesus. It's a mess, man. Jesus. Anybody trying to tell you they're perfect, they're just lying to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't care if it's a preaching. Yes, sir. Evangelists? Yes. We got faults. I, I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be like Jesus. That's it, sir. Amen. I'm still trying to get it right. Hallelujah. Glory. But glory, that spiritual side is what makes us pure and what makes us righteous. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The spiritual side. Yes. I want y'all to understand there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Weakness and power. <coughs> The body, that earthly side, is weak. The flesh is weak. Yes, it is. How do you know that it's sin? It's pleasing to the flesh. God ain't concerned about what makes you feel good. He's concerned about your soul, your heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If it's making you feel good, you can pretty much count on there's something wrong with it. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Make me feel better. Mm -hmm. We get too caught up in the physical. Yes, sir. Think about how you feel. It's about do you believe? Teach that. Teach. Hmm. If you believe, that spiritual side kicks in. It's powerful. It can't be denied. Mm -hmm. It's what makes you get up in the morning when the world is against you and all kind of crap going on. Right. People lying on you. People talking about you. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. But you keep moving. Yes, sir. Because you serve a God. Hallelujah. Hmm. <laughs> Even beyond that. The spiritual body is going to be heavenly. Oh, yeah. We're making it plain. Trying to oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Natural and spiritual. 
He did not say it would be a spirit body, but a spiritual body. Mm -hmm. The term spiritual body refers to that very real body that Christians receive in the resurrection. Yes. See, the Holy Spirit is dwelling with us. It's, it's, it's there for us. It's comforting us and showing us a way. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. But when we go to rest, that spiritual body mm -hmm. takes form. Adam and Eve, the natural came before the spiritual. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. See, that was Adam. I explained that. The natural side. But the spiritual side is that Holy Spirit that dwells in us. Thank you, Lord. In Adam, we have the earthly likeness. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's why we make mistakes. That's why we don't always get it right. In Christ, we have the heavenly likeness. We're oh, yeah. made perfect through him. We're getting close. Take your time, sir. When Christ returns, the Christians will be resurrected and changed. I want you to know that. Mm -hmm. Verses 50 through 53 makes it plain. It says, Now this I say, brothers, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. That's right. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of the eye, yes, at the last trumpet, at the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, yes, and we shall be changed. Mm -hmm. For this corruption, for this corruptible, must be put on incorruption. Amen. And this moral must be put on immortality. Amen. Amen. Excited about what God's doing. Yes, sir. The results is a complete victory over death. It don't stop here. Mm -hmm. It's okay you, to mourn Thank you, Linda Faye's physical side. Yes, sir. But Christians are supposed to celebrate the spiritual side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. We're getting ready to close. So he came to Nathos where he'd been brought up and as his custom was, he went on into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood in and read. Mm -hmm. And he said, handed the Bible of the prophet of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Wow. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Mm -hmm. Because he has anointed me mm -hmm. to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Yes. To proclaim liberty to the captives, mm -hmm. to recover our sight to the blind, yeah. to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable you of the Lord. Yeah. Hmm. Then he took the book and gave it back to the attendants and sat down. Mm -hmm. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogues were, were fixed on him. Teach that. Hmm. Today the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Oh, yeah. So all bore witness to him and, and marveled at the, the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. And they said, this is not Joseph. This is, is this not Joseph's son? Let me make it plain. Mm -hmm. I get caught up sometimes. Yeah, oh. Is this not Joseph's son? See, they were trying to normalize him. That's right. They could be saying, this is, we, we know his mama. Mm -hmm. We know Mary. Mm -hmm. We know his sister. She's, she's Jenny from the block. Yeah. We know his brother's baby. We know all the stuff they got. How can he be saying all this? Mm. In 23, he said to them, you will surely say this proverb to me. Yes. Position, heal yourself. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have heard done in Capion, do also here in your country. Yes, sir. Then he said, surely I say to you, no prophet is accepted even in his own country. That's it. That's it. Jesus was right there on his yes, earthly sir. ministry. Can you imagine that? Yes, sir. They was getting it from the man himself. Mm -hmm. Jews was caught up in history. Caught up in tradition. Yeah. They was worried about how they was going to do the Sabbath. They was worried about the Passover meal and not knowing the Passover meal was standing right there in front of them and Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He All said right. the scripture is being fulfilled to your hearing. He is the scripture. Yes. <laughs> hmm. They crucified Christ. 
Then, when he delivered him mm -hmm. to them to be crucified, yeah. then they took Jesus and led him away. Mm -hmm. And he, bound the cross, went out to a place called the place of the skull. Mm -hmm. Well, they crucified him and two others with him, one on either side. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is in the center. Yes, sir. I want to make that real point. Yep, Lord. See, there was three crosses on Calvary. Mm -hmm. Two thieves. Yeah. Guilty as charged. Oh, yeah. And then Jesus. Mm -hmm. And one of them even challenged them even more. Say, if you be who they say you are, Amen. come down from there and save yourself. Yeah. And then save me, save us. Yes, sir. See, he was worried about that physical side. Big sir. Oh, yeah. But the other one said, don't you even fear God? Mm-hmm. This man is guilty of nothing. Yeah. He has done nothing. Oh, yeah. And he said to him, when you come into your kingdom, remember me. Oh, yeah. In a dying hour, well, in that moment, Jesus stopped dying on the cross. Yeah. And told him, today, you will be with me in paradise. It's just that simple, brother. Oh, yeah. Sister. Hallelujah. Lord. Lord. The one on the left. Died in sin. Yeah. One on the right died due to sin. Oh, the one in the middle died for his sins, your sins, and my sins. Oh, the precious yeah. has already been paid. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, sir. The question is, do you believe? Mm -hmm. He's coming back. Yes, he is. Hmm. Yeah. He died. And he laid there three days. Uh-huh. But early on that third day, we know he rose. Uh -huh. Mary Magdalene saw him. And she ran and told two of the disciples, not the inner circle, but two of the, the other disciples that was part of the group saw him as they was traveling down the road. And he shared and broke bread with them. And, oh, and yeah. they ran back and told. Uh -huh. And even some of that original apostles still didn't believe. Yeah. So he appeared to them. Mm -hmm. Thomas wasn't there. Thomas, I got to see for myself. Preacher. So eight days later, he came back and appeared to him again and, and told Thomas, touch my hand. Uh -huh. Touch my side. Well, see that I'm real. Yes, sir. Oh, no. I want you to know that he's coming back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't get caught up on this earthly side. Believe in the resurrection. Oh, yeah. Believe that if you believe in Jesus, uh -huh. that you believe he was born of a virgin, yeah. that you believe he lived, he suffered and died and, and rose, and, and one day he's coming back. Oh, yeah. I promise you. Thank you. You're going to get to see Linda again. Yeah. Because she believed. As I told you, this is a homecoming. So we're going to take a moment and we're going to offer an invitation. Thank you. Right here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I don't preach funerals, I'm preaching God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You say two yesterday at the visitation. Oh, yeah. If you've never accepted Jesus as head of your life, but today you've heard something in the word that I can't live by the flesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've got to live by the spirit. Oh, yeah. And you want to commit your life to Jesus. You want to admit that you've sinned. You want to commit that you've done wrong and you hadn't accepted his word. But today... Yes, sir. You want to become a part of the godly family. Hallelujah. This moment right here could be yours. All you yes. got to do is raise your hand. Yes. You could be washed clean right Thank here today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Do we have Lord. one? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Don't feel bad. Hallelujah. Don't oh, feel yeah. bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Bless your name. Maybe you believe in him. Maybe you know he died. But you're also willing to admit that lately you really just hadn't trusted him the way you should. Mm -hmm. You say you believe in him, mm -hmm. but rather than letting him fix your problems, you're trying to fix your problems. Yes, you're going to find yourself Speak just out there in turmoil and yes, continuing to catch hell. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Unless you're willing to repent. Yes, give it to God. Yes. If we have some who believe in Jesus, but you know you hadn't got it all right lately. Mm -hmm. You know you'd have made some mistakes, but today you want to be washed clean with repentance. This moment could be yours. All you got to do is raise your hand. Bless your name, God. Bless and I'm going to tell you, you're washed clean. Bless Amen. We've God. got one. Let's give her a hand. Hallelujah. God is Hallelujah. good. I tell you, we got two. Let's give her a hand.
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He's real. It is What's so. better way to I celebrate know. Linda's homecoming yes, than to change your life? Her I life know. be an example to you. Sir, sir. Oh, yeah. Do we have another? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm going to tell you. It's my last example. Thank you, Lord. At a funeral just like this. Yes, sir. I heard a wonderful testimony. See, some people just get up and run their mouth. Mm -hmm. And oh. then they want to pick on the ones who's being sincere and honest. Yes, sir. Had one get up, and I'm going to tell his name because he was real. Bless Jimmy God. Rugg. Y'all may know him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I have a vivid memory of Jimmy. Mm -hmm. We was about 13. I saw him coming down Elm Street, and it was a gravel road then, so some of y'all may not remember. They're driving a car, mm -hmm. and he wasn't about 12 or 13 himself. Mm -hmm. And first, I just couldn't believe this short guy driving a car. <laughs> then it seemed like he was doing about 40 or 50 miles an hour. Then I realized the police was chasing him. He had stolen a car. <laughs> Jimmy gave testimony at a funeral. When he stood up, them haters that started looking down on him already. Oh, yeah. What he got to talk about? What he got to say? Oh, yeah. Jimmy said, I spent most of my life in and out of jail. Yes, sir. In reform school, in penitentiary, just doing stupid stuff, doing worldly stuff. Mm -hmm. But I promised God. Mama. That if he set me free this time, Glory. give me one more chance. Hey, hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That when I got out, that I was going to rededicate and commit my life to him uh -huh. to live a righteous life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I tell you today, if he can do it for Saul, mm -hmm. if he can do it for Linda and mm -hmm. Odell and me and, and many others in this room yes, and do it for Jimmy, yes, he sir. can do it for Jimmy, for you also. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Oh, yeah. So when he went back to the seat, there were still some doubters in the room. Can mm -hmm. you believe that? Oh, yeah. The preacher got up and said, now y'all sitting here looking down on Jimmy. Mm -hmm. If the truth was told, <laughs> every one of you should have spent some time in jail for what you were doing. Mama, mama. At least one or two days. Oh, yeah. But God on our side. Do we have any more that want to come for repentance? Just raise your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've got two. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to ask Hallelujah. Pastor Crenshaw to pray for those who ask for prayer and repentance, Hallelujah. and then we're going to move forward with the services.